I'll be honest. I love minors. I love talking to minors. I perform oral on my cat Tobias every single day. I lubricate my cat every single day. I'm really into colonization. Like, I almost wish I was there when my home country was being colonized. The darkest of black people would get accused of cultural appropriation. This guy must have the YouTube staff at gunpoint because what the actual f YouTube, a place where you can upload cringy shorts with your friends, mukbangs, and even covers to old songs. But apparently YouTube is also a place where you can upload a video of your derriere forest. Oh my goodness! Brother, uh. Yo, what's going YouTube? It's Ivan Steph and you guys. As a YouTuber, I've seen some weird ass content. No pun intended. But I've never seen something as disgusting as this. So recently I came across a channel called Kevin Leonardo and he's an interesting person to say the least. I'm a big supporter of free speech and believe that as long as you're not spreading hate against groups of people and not spreading dangerous information that you should be allowed a platform to speak. But then there's Kevin Leonardo. His content appears to be rage bait, saying the wildest things for attention. But the more I watch his content, the more I believe that he's serious about all of this. Fisting my cat's hole with visuals, performing on my cat, draining my cat's balls in his sleep. I love minors and talking to minors. My hole is so big and wide and desperate need of a thick filling. Bruh. So recently Kevin's been undergoing a lot of hate. I mean, to be fair, he's always been undergoing a lot of hate, but recently it surged. So the makeup brand Euphoria recently dropped its jet black foundation shade and has received a lot of criticism for it simply because it's too black. Which side of my face is the black face paint or the euphoria foundation this is black face paint this is the darkest shade of the euphoria foundation hmm but for some reason kevin leonardo decided to not only make a video about it but make a video where he's applying the foundation on his face but there's one um pretty big kind of obvious problem with that <coughs> so i want to start this video off by looking at the hate that kevin's been getting for putting on blackface and then things will be getting really weird because we'll be looking at his unusual obsession with cats and then we'll be looking at the disgusting way he talks about minors but just before we get into this if y'all can leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already it truly would mean a lot so without further ado, let's get into it. The blocks of the internet are currently very mad. What did he say? Okay, that's an introduction. Because Euphoria released their newest, darkest shade of their new foundation, and it's apparently jet black, so I thought we should put this on my face. Why? 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 Wow. Clearly, Kevin isn't the brightest bulb out there, but as you'll see, this was just a terrible idea. Okay, so two pumps. I'm like kind of nervous. Oh, okay, ow. Not ow, my bad, I don't know why I said ow. Two pumps, this can't be too bad, right? Well, it gets bad because he pulled the Shane Dawson. All right, so this is the darkest shade of the Euphoria Foundation on my face, and it looks very, very black. Like, I feel like the darkest of black people would get accused of cultural appropriation. What? What the f is this guy rambling on about? He really thought he ate with that statement. Kevin is not a black person, not a makeup guru, and admits that he doesn't even wear makeup. I obviously don't wear makeup. So this was just him trying to offend the maximum amount of people as possible. And it worked because just take a look at these comments. Get in the coffin, Kevin. He's the middle child. I just know he's a disappointment of the family. As you can see, people on YouTube are very upset with Kevin, calling him out for painting his face black. But not only that, but just the way he was talking about black people in general. It looks very dark. Like, I feel like I look darker than, like, Lupita huh? from us. I was just disgusting, and there was no need for a comment like that, but this wasn't just on YouTube. He did this on TikTok as well. The darkest of blacks would get called out for cultural appropriation if they wore this Euphoria foundation shade. But not only did he do this on TikTok, he actually filmed a separate video for it. The, the blocks of the internet, internet are, are very currently very mad with because Euphoria, Euphoria released their super newest dark darkest shade. Kevin had the chance to be like, okay, I was wrong, I shouldn't have done it, but the fact that he filmed himself putting the foundation on for YouTube took it off, and then filmed the video for TikTok where he reapplied the foundation, you lost your chance there. Now there are those who like to see the best in people saying that Kevin's words were poor, but his intentions are pure. Some people say that he is so iconic, but those who do are told to go to hell. The comment section is going ballistic. Kevin stands, and yes, there are Kevin stands, are beefing with Kevin haters. So a day after receiving all the backlash, Kevin made a response. I put on the darkest shade of the Euphoria Foundation last night, not to perform blackface, because literally blackface is like when you pretend to be black and like mock black people. I would never 
literally do that. And like, I literally say that like, I don't condone blackface in the video. I literally don't care because literally like this guy literally like offended like a lot of people. Yes, Euphoria is receiving a lot of backlash because they essentially just dropped black face paint and are calling it foundation. People are upset with Kevin, not simply because of the makeup, but because of the way that he referred to black people and the way that he's trying to capitalize on this issue for his own benefit. I would never walk outside with this. Like I literally looked crazy and like even the darkest of like black people look actually crazy wearing this because this foundation is problematic. Like I'm literally just uplifting the black voices. Bitch, swear. <laughs> I just love the fact how he says that he would never wear the makeup out in public because of how ridiculous it looks, yet he films two separate videos and uploads it on both YouTube and TikTok for way more people to see. I just find this so ironic because Kevin claims to be uplifting black voices and the hero he is tries to fight for change, yet he buys the problematic product and puts money into the pockets of the company going under fire. It's funny because the video is sort of an apology, he claims that he never intended to hurt anyone, yet after receiving tons of backlash and receiving more dislikes than likes, Kevin's videos remain uploaded confirming the fact that Kevin just craves attention even if it is negative attention. Kevin is the type of guy to put BLM in his bio, upload a photo of a black square on Instagram and watch one episode of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and call it a day. Kevin's been receiving some backlash for the do-rag that he wears in his profile picture and he made a video addressing it and y'all gotta check this out. I own four do-rags. 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 What? So I got these do-rags on Amazon a couple weeks ago not to like culturally appropriate black people or like to be culturally insensitive but literally just because i recently rewatched all of pll pretty little liars <laughs> saying do rag is crazy but the reason that you wear do rag is because of pretty little liars like nah th there is no way this guy has to be satire right unfortunately the more that i watch kevin leonardo the more i begin to think that this is no act For y'all watching right now, I have a question. Have you ever seen the docuseries Don't F With Cats? If you didn't watch it, essentially they talk about the infamous Luca Minata, who is in prison for doing some terrible things to a student named Jun Lin. So the docuseries focuses on the events leading up to that moment, including the disgusting videos that Luca posted where he did some cruel things to cats. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up because on Kevin's channel, he has numerous videos where he talks about cats in disgusting ways. Why I'm obsessed with my cats fisting my cat's hole, performing on my cat, busting giant loads with my cat in bed. We fail to make my cat squirt. Oh, hell no. Bro, what is that thumbnail? And that's just some of them. There are way more. But the fact that they are monetized disgusts me. YouTube is supposed to be a safe place, but this guy promotes the weirdest of weird. Just take a look at the way that he starts his videos. Hey guys, it's 11.23 in the morning and I've been literally busting the biggest loads all morning and all night last night. And so has my cat Tobias. I perform on my cat Tobias every single day. I'm obsessed with my cat's p This guy seriously needs a better intro because what the f what the actual fuck? As I've said, this guy discusses things in a certain way for shock value that will give people the most rage. So this video is titled Performing Girl on My Cat. And in the video, it appears that he is going to be doing the nasties to his cat using his mouth. But basically, um, here's a clip of me performing oral on my cat earlier today. I do this every single day and I think you know, I have to find ways for him to enjoy it. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, God. No, God, please, no. 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 Oh, wait, you thought? Yeah, based on that title and even the first few minutes of the video, you were led to believe what he wants you to believe. Now, technically his videos are educational. The video that I just showed you discusses dental hygiene for cats. Never, ever, ever give your cat human toothpaste. That's toxic, obviously. Don't do that. And this is the loophole on YouTube that Kevin continues to use to upload his videos. Now, as you've seen, Kevin has a lot of clickbait titles, but he does have videos which are what they say they are, such as removing butt hair using nair cream and how to shave your butt. Oh my goodness! And trust me on this, seriously, trust me on what I'm about to say because 
You did not want to watch the video. He essentially removes hair like how he's removing his armpit hair in this video, except he's literally removing hair from his hairy peaches. I'm not kidding. This guy shows the whole derriere forest. And it gets even worse because he also has a video where he trims the hairs off of his baby carrot, if you know what I'm saying. Literally, 0.00 seconds in, he just whips it out on camera for everyone to see. This guy isn't scared of anxiety. Anxiety is scared of him. Y'all better leave a like on my video right now because I swear, after I'm done filming this, I gotta go bleach my eyes. Now, Kevin's video is age restricted, but let's be real. A lot of people who use YouTube under the age of 18 set their age as 18 and wouldn't expect to be jump scared by an actual human baby carrot. And Kevin himself knows this, which brings me to my final point where we'll be looking at Kevin's sus behavior with minors. One would assume that Kevin's channel is catered towards adults. Once showing your fuzzy peaches and your lightsaber, there is no going back. But despite this, Kevin has demonstrated some weird behavior with those under 18. Little girls genuinely excite me so much and I can't tell you like how happy that I get when I see and meet little girls in public. What did he say? Hey. Oh, gotcha, bitch. So in this video, he talks about a meetup that he had where he meets a lot of his younger female fans at a hockey rink. He shows footage of the meetup, and as you can see, they're laughing, taking selfies with him, and even gives one of them a hug. I absolutely love just talking and getting to know sweet little girls that like like me. Look, I've been trying to stay neutral and observe things for what they are, but it's kind of hard to do so considering the types of videos that Kevin uploads and when he says things like this. I'll be honest, I love minors. I love talking to minors. It's just so strange. In Exhibit A, he talks about at the rink how he met an eight-year-old girl, and you can watch the video for yourself, but despite being triple her age, he was hanging out with her, took a selfie with her, and asked to meet her parents. Look, I don't have kids, but personally, if I found out that someone like Kevin was hanging out with my daughter. This is Sparta! That would be the end of him right there. I wouldn't trust this guy around any kids and especially after learning about his Discord server. So recently Kevin underwent a lot of heat for his NSFW Discord server, which is essentially a Discord server for posting adult content. Now I don't have Discord and never used it, but after reading into it, it appears that Kevin had an NSFW Discord server where people are posting adult things, very inappropriate things, Yet a 14 year old was a moderator for it. In the server, there's a lot of people who are underage and a lot of people who are of age. A server where people are having inappropriate conversations with each other and where corn on the cob is posted. I obviously can't say the word on my channel, but like those types of videos. And there are screenshots of inappropriate conversation that Kevin had with his younger fan base in the server. Now in this video, I don't know exactly how much I can share, so I will leave a link in the description box below. It's a Google Drive folder that I found. It's essentially just showing screenshots of what you need to know about the Discord server. But the more I research into Kevin, the more I start to believe that this isn't an act. Fingering minors is one of my favorite things to do in life. He talks about how he watched the Epstein and Dahmer documentaries on Netflix and then says this. But I did get aroused from imagining what it would feel like if my partner, my personal man, was this like super rich and powerful figure that like owned a whole island and like forced me to give him a massage and then like banged me. In the video, we talked about how him role playing as one of Epstein's victims is a turn on for him, which is not only disgusting, but also completely disrespectful to the victims. Just imagine watching one of the documentaries and seeing all the victims crying and you're just sitting there like, oh my God, slay, I wish I was you. Look, I know that LA is expensive, but the bills can't be that expensive. To be honest, this guy is brave. I will give him that, knowingly embarrassing yourself for the world, having no shame posting this types of video it takes a lot of guts. And look, I'm not part of the Alphabet community, so it's not my part, but I feel like Kevin is a terrible representation of the community and only worsens their image. Someone will see Kevin and how creepy and disgusting he is and apply that image to the entire community, which is unfair. And back to Luca Minata, it all started with cats and how it escalated and did the absolute worst to a human being. And the dots were always there, but it wasn't until he did the absolute worst for people to connect these dots. And by no means am I saying Kevin is gonna resort to that, but the fact that he's only 26 years old and with only a few years you know doing blackface the way he talks about cats showing his parts on camera with no shame the way he talks about minors the way he talks to minors when the views drop and kevin gets bored what will he do next anyways i want to know what y'all think about kevin leonardo so leave a comment down below and let me know if you were both educated and entertained please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already but until next time it's been ivan steph peace